Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Sinusoidal functions. Congrats! This is the second to last function you need to know for this course. A sinusoidal function by definition is a periodic function that continuously oscillates between a set minimum and maximum point. The sinusoidal functions in this course will just be the basic cosine and sine functions. The actual details of the equation will be covered next video, so let's talk about the specificities for the graph now. First of all, as a review for my last video, cosine of theta is equal to sine of theta plus pi over 2. This is because... Of course, you know how to calculate periods from the 3.1 video, and in the parent sine and cosine functions, it is 2 pi. The frequency is simply whatever the period is with a 1 on top of it. A middle line of a sinusoidal function is the invisible line that's halfway between the minimum and maximum points. The middle line of the parent sine and cosine graphs is y equals 0. The amplitude of a sinusoidal function is the vertical distance from the middle line to the maximum point on the graph. That means in the parent sine and cosine graphs, the amplitude is 1. You'll see that on a sine and cosine graph, the concavity changes at wherever the line passes the middle line. And as a reminder on concavity, just memorize this image here. Okay, one more thing to talk about. And to understand it, let's go back to my Unit 1 Topic Topic 5 video where I sounded truly dead inside. A function is even if it satisfies the property f of negative x equals f of x, or if reflected across the y-axis the graph looks the exact same. A function is odd if it satisfies the property f of negative x equals negative f of x, or if rotated across the origin 180 degrees it remains looking the exact same. If we were to apply these properties to the sine and cosine functions or try the rotational and reflective symmetry on the graphs, you will see that y equals sine of theta is an odd function and y equals cosine of theta is an even function. Okay, on the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. I will see you in the next one.